Welcome back, LHS. This is your Blue Devil News. I'm Jonathan. Sign-ups for next year's concert choir are posted around the building. You may scan the QR codes to register. This is open for anyone that would like to be in choir, regardless of experience. There will also be audition sign-ups for anyone that would like to be in the Lady Devils Ensemble or True Blue Festival Choir. Choir members will be in their t-shirts every Friday. You can talk to any one of them to find out more about choir. They can also come see Mr. Clark in the choir room. Prom tickets are $50 and the last day to purchase prom tickets is today. This deadline will not be extended, so make sure to buy your tickets before then. Seniors, an email was sent to you today allowing you to nominate for prom king and queen. Please be sure to check your school email and make your nominations. If you are interested in cheer, tryouts are April 28th through the 30th. Pick up a tryout packet in Ms. Mosley's room, B204. We will be right back with student council, marching band, and more. My name is Corey Yancey. I'm a member of the Lebanon football team. We are currently seeking sponsors for the Liftathon to raise money for the new weight room and facility upgrades. If you would like to make a donation by sponsoring me, I'll be glad to stop by your classroom or meet you in the hall, or you can reach me at my email. Anything will be greatly appreciated, and I can't thank you enough for your help and supporting us through this season. Okay, I've got a list of five names, and you're going to tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. All right? All right. Wooten. Uh, Baloney. Bill Gates. Four. Taylor Swift. Rich. So the first word is candy. Pizza. The second word is pretty. School. The third word is smelling. Smelling good. Fourth word is old. Young. The fifth word is large. Bigger. TV shows. Movies. Burger or steak? Steak. Ice cream or cake? Ice cream. Netflix or YouTube? Netflix. Jeans or sweatpants? Sweatpants. Mr. Wooten. Wooten. Coach Ford. He got some little legs. <laughs> and he built. <laughs> Bill Gates. His money. Elon Musk. I don't know who that is. Musk stinky. It's, it's musty. Taylor Swift. Um... What's that song? Uh, love song. I love that song. All right, thank you. All right, movies or TV shows? Movies. Burgers or steaks? Burgers. Ice cream or cake? Can I do ice cream cake? Yes. <laughs> Netflix or YouTube? <laughs> Netflix. <laughs> and jeans or sweatpants? Sweatpants. Mm -hmm. All right, candy. Apples. Smelly. Apples. Pretty. Apples. Old. <laughs> Cherry. Large. Apple. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, so movies or TV shows? TV shows. Burger or steak? Steak. Ice cream or cake? Cake. Netflix or YouTube? YouTube. Jeans or sweatpants? Sweatpants. All right, thank you. Now, are you scared or, uh, is more scared or word? Which one's more scarier? Scarier? We'll put this, we'll put this afterward. Which one's scarier? Heights or spiders? Spiders. All right. Elon Musk. Musk you. Wait, no, I'll... <laughs> Thank you.
Today, I want to tell you three stories from my life. That's it. No big deal. Just three stories. The first story is about connecting the dots. I dropped out of Reed College after the first six months, but then stayed around as a drop-in for another 18 months or so before I really quit. It was pretty scary at the time, but looking back, it was one of the best decisions I ever made. The minute I dropped out, I could stop taking the required classes that didn't interest me and begin dropping in on the ones that looked far more interesting. Reed College at that time offered perhaps the best calligraphy instruction in the country. Throughout the campus, every poster, every label on every drawer was beautifully hand calligraphed, and I found it fascinating. None of this had even a hope of any practical application in my life. But 10 years later, when we were designing the first Macintosh computer, it all came back to me. If I had never dropped out, personal computers might not have the wonderful typography that they do. Of course, it was impossible to connect the dots looking forward when I was in college, but it was very, very clear looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future, because believing that the dots will connect down the road will give you the confidence to follow your heart even when it leads you off the well-worn path. My second story is about love and loss. I was lucky. I found what I loved to do early in life. Waz and I started Apple in my parents' garage when I was 20. And in 10 years, Apple had grown from just the two of us in a garage into a $2 billion company with over 4,000 employees. And then I got fired. What had been the focus of my entire adult life was gone. I really didn't know what to do for a few months. I felt that I'd let the previous generation of entrepreneurs down. I'd been rejected, but I still loved what I did. I didn't see it then, but it turned out that getting fired from Apple was the best thing that could have ever happened to me. The heaviness of being successful was replaced by the lightness of being a beginner again. It freed me to enter one of the most creative periods of my life. During the next five years, I started a company named Next, another company named Pixar, and is now the most successful animation studio in the world. I'm convinced that the only thing that kept me going was that I loved what I did. You've got to find what you love. Your work is gonna fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking. As with all matters of the heart, you'll know when you find it. My third story, is about death. If you live each day as if it was your last, someday you'll most certainly be right. For the past 33 years, I've looked in the mirror every morning and asked myself, if today were the last day of my life, would I wanna do what I am about to do today? Because almost everything, all external expectations, all pride, all fear of embarrassment or failure, these things just fall away in the face of death. Remembering that you are going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. There is no reason not to follow your heart. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. Have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. Stay hungry. Stay foolish. Thank you all very much. Student Council is looking for next year's executive board members. You already know they are meeting every Thursday after school in the library from 3 to 3.30. But they also wanted to let you know that we will be discussing how to run for the Student Council Executive Board. And we'll have students sign up for volunteer positions for our upcoming movie night. Election packets will be available on Thursday, April 29th, and they will be due on Thursday, May 13th. And remember, all are welcome. Student Council will also be holding class officer elections in May, so make sure you are coming to the meetings every Thursday after school to get more information if you are interested in running. Ms. Murray and the LHS Book Club are now accepting submissions of literary works and or artwork for the literary magazine Echo. If you are interested, they are accepting entries in the month of April. Look for the flyers around the school or email lebanonhighbookclub at gmail.com. I'm Carly. And I'm Jonathan. And, and this, this has been News to You from the White and Blue. Blue.